um, you were on watch one night while you were in the Navy in 1946, and you saw a streak of light, and you told me that you reported it in your log as a UFO. Can you tell me the story from start to finish when you first saw that streak of light? We were on our way from uh, Guam to Pearl Harbor, and uh, we were about halfway there. And I had the uh, evening watch, four to eight in the evening. And about halfway through that watch, I looked out over the port bow, and I saw a streak of light going parallel to the horizon, straight across, and then faded out. It, well, the color was a greenish blue. Well, from the horizon, it was about 30 degrees up. And uh, from north, it was probably, uh, oh, maybe 60 to 70 degrees. I reported it to our captain. Or I also reported it to our uh, first lieutenant. And his name was Jim Vanderlands. He was from Long Beach, California. Oh, okay. We, uh, were, we were quite close friends. The captain came up to, to uh, scan the horizon, couldn't see anything. So he ordered the uh, radar turned on. And after it was turned on and warmed up and everything, we spotted a blip on the uh, radar about a mile out and it was circling the uh, our ship in about ev every maybe 10 seconds tremendous speed and uh, we couldn't de determine what it was the captain ordered one of the seamen to go up and check to see if there was a bird on the uh, mast that could be interfering with the radar. The seaman went up and couldn't find anything and the, the, the blip continued. That continued for about five minutes and then took off, zip off the uh, radar screen and we never saw it again. Was there anything that fast back in those days in 1946? Uh, not to my knowledge going in a circle. No, yes. And anything going that fast it could stay in the same, stay in that circle without the centrifugal force pulling it off course. Now was this put in the log books? Yes, it would, I wrote it up very specifically. Do you remember and, time, uh, date, and all that? I don't have an exact date. It was uh, no, it, it was in the latter part of May or first part of June. I thought it was a flare, but a flare would have an arc to it. This didn't have an arc. It was just straight across, even with the horizon. Oh, it, the streak was probably oh, 10 miles out. Do you think it could have been a falling star? No. It didn't the come from the sky? The star would, uh, would go in that. It would also have an arc to it. Uh, we, thought we had no answer for it. And we hadn't, at that time, we, had, we hadn't heard anything. We had no knowledge of UFOs or anything like that. So. We had no cause to report it as a, as a real audit. Released from the ship in June and shipped back to uh, Treasure Island in San Francisco to be discharged. But, 